So it's finally here. We're in Austin, Texas, and the solar eclipse has already started. It's April 8th, 2024. We're going to listen to the bees before the eclipse starts, and then we're going to continue to listen to the bees during the duration of the eclipse to see if there's any changes in sounds, behaviors. It's also extremely cloudy here today, so we're not able to see the sun that well. But we're going to listen, have a listen, and see what's happening in the hive during the solar eclipse and see how the bees are affected, if they even are. So why don't you put your glasses on and come along. So we've opened up the hive and we're just listening in, having a look at the behavior. This is before the eclipse actually starts and um, it's going to get dark here pretty quick and we may not be able to see anything, but we're definitely going to listen to the hum of the hive and see if that hum silences or what happens. We don't know. This is just what we've heard. So part of the reason that bees actually might do this behavior is because this is going to be a fake out that we're going into evening um, with it getting dark. And bees have a circadian rhythm just like humans do and other mammals where they sleep at night. And so when it starts to get to the end of the day, everybody comes home from foraging, comes back in the box, and they stay in overnight. And they are ruled by that sun up, sun down. So bees are not active typically at night unless there's some commotion. So I think that this is going to actually stimulate them going to bed and that the bees that are out foraging are going to come back in and come to the hive. I don't know that for sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully find out. This is the entrance to the hive, and you can see there's activity. Bees are coming back, um, and this is their foraging flights. And they were actually sitting on the edge of the hive for a while, kind of an interesting sort of holding pattern, which I don't see a ton of, but I'm gonna show you on another hive where they're doing that. This, I opened up this hive and gave them a little bit of smoke, so it did change a little bit of their behavior. So let's look over at this hive next to this one, and you can see that they are sitting there at the edge. Just kind of milling about. I think they might be thinking, oh, I'm gonna go out to forage, but it feels like evening, so I might go back in. We're about five minutes away from the totality of the eclipse and we can already feel it's getting darker. We have a very overcast, cloudy day today, but um, we can gradually feel the darkness coming. When we're just standing here observing the hive, it looks like a lot of the bees are coming home and we're just going to wait and see what happens. It's starting to get darker. I mean, we're, we're overcast, but we can gradually feel the eclipse happening, even though we can't see it. <laughs> you can hear a lot of chatter. We're in our neighborhood, and you can hear a lot of people outside. There was a drone overhead earlier. So everyone's kind of out witnessing this. Our kids are in the front yard witnessing it. And so you may hear them shout. They're, they're taking it all in. We're taking it all in. Wow. Oh, it's getting darker. It's wild to be in the middle of the day and have darkness come upon you. I can only imagine the animals are like, what is exactly happening? Three minutes more until total darkness. Overall, I'm noticing that the bees are actually really calm. I'm sort of in their flight path, and that can be annoying to them. You might get bumped, things like that, just saying, hey, you're in the way. But I'm, that's not happening. So. We'll see what happens. At night, they do not like to be disturbed. They don't like artificial light on them. So we're going to try not to use any artificial light, but we might just to see the stillness at one point. It's, I mean, it is getting darker by the moment. This is pretty wild to experience. I'm super excited that we have this opportunity.
it, it does, the birds are still chirping, but it does feel like a quiet and a calm has come over. This, the air is very still, there's no wind blowing. The hive has actually really gone quiet. There was a humming and it sort of dwindled down. It was really interesting. We can hear our neighbor talking on her phone. <laughs> um, but other than that, that, the bees are still moving. I can still see them moving around in the hive. We're currently in the eclipse. It's really dark. It actually feels like it's starting to lighten up already. Wow. It's over. The kids are yelling, it's over. There we go. We're starting to get light again. Now let's see if these bees get back to business. Well, the light has come back, and the bees are seem like they're just straight back to business. So I think that the bees that were out and about kind of stayed in position where they were, and I see some bees coming flying back in the front entrance. But they did sort of have a lull where there was a little bit of a hum, and then that hum got lower and lower until there was no more hum for just a bit. And there was, there was noise outside, ambient noise, like the birds and some people talking and stuff like that. But the hive itself seemed to have a hush come over it, which was really interesting. Um, I didn't actually see them stand still, but there was no like wing flapping um, or anything like that, which causes that hum. So really fascinating. I'm glad that we got the opportunity to do this. It was really cool to be out here and see that darkness come over us just in the middle of the day. Um, so I feel really excited about this and um, sharing it with you.